no one actually knew that I was a fan of the game. It seemed to kind of like to, to be the perfect game for me to score. We looked around and uh, and we actually considered about 65 different composers. And one of those was Neil Davidge. He, was, he did production and composition with Massive Attack. I, I knew Halo from, well, back in the days when I, I was still a student. You know, it was almost like a movie it turned into a computer game. I think a good soundtrack and the role that music plays in, in video games or any media is really to give the background of why we're doing this. I, I think the whole remix idea allows us to hear what other people take from that music. It was a cool thing to think of remixing Halo because it's, you know, one of the games with like some of the best music out of any video game made. I heard uh, a synthy. It was just dark and, and gritty and it just had some like lemon face, what I call it. It's just like when you listen to it, you know what I mean? What I wanted to do when we remixed Revival was take what was already there and taking from that we added some dubstep flares, some electro flares, you hear some hip hop drums. Something about wrecking was just like a solid sound. It was like a violin section. It was beautiful. I was like, oh, that just I had I had to top that up and see what I can do with it. When I heard green and blue, I think for me that track gave me all the feelings of playing the first Halo game. I always remembered like huge orchestral big scores, so I knew straight away I wanted to remix one of the tracks with lots of strings. And it's exciting for us to hear what people pull out and what people focus on, because it's always surprising. It's not necessarily the hook that you expect. When I choose some of the remix, I actually like to choose, you know, one of the more minute parts of a musical passage and kind of turn that into the hook. Like I took the drum loop, cut it up, completely mangled it. When I listen to uh, kind of new remix pieces, it's just very fresh. It's it's coming from totally different perspective. The beauty of working with Neil is that he has all these really unique uh, instrument sounds that he either creates from scratch or alters from existing sounds. I had to keep the energy and the flavor of the tune and, and the darkness of the tune, but kind of make it more, I suppose, that you could play it in a dubstep dance. You know, it's, it's, it's the whole challenge of, of bringing the whole soundtrack uh, atmosphere into a danceable track. I sat there perfecting it, like even mixing it longer, like oh, adjusting every little level just because I wanted it to be right. As soon as I finished it, I was like, this is it, perfect, I don't want to change anything. Take whatever connects to you and, and, and treat it as, as your own personal statement. I love it when people twist things and you can mangle up the stands as much as you want as long as it sounds good. You know, you can pitch shift and time stretch and like create your own rhythm. And I would say definitely listen to every little bit of, you know, the samples. Think about what you can use and think about how you can use it. I used to enter these uh, remix contests uh, two years ago. It was like uh, a big opportunity to, to remix a big artist. This is it right here. You have the stems to work with. Just go out and do something cool. I mean, it's Halo. Please enter the competition. Download every stem. Make sure you check them all out. Find the ones that you like the most. Do something crazy blow our minds. Do your thing and don't be frightened to push things forward.